friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting a reading vlog for a specific book that has been going around all of booktube. Everyone's been reading it, everyone's hyping it up. Uh, I'm going into it with an open mind because this is not the type of book that I usually read and if you read the title this is probably like one of my first times reading like a spicy bully romance type of book um so and that is zodiac academy by the way um the first book the awakening um all of my friends have been reading this as you can see at this point in time i've already started it um i'll explain all of that but yeah i'm gonna be doing a reading vlog for this um in all honesty i started this on saturday today it's monday and i started this saturday it's pretty chunky and I honestly thought that it would take me a little while because I'm in a reading slump. I uh, haven't been reading much and everything that I've been picking up, it's taking me forever to finish. So I thought that this would take me a while. So I was like, I'll start it Saturday, not vlogging because I didn't bring my camera. And then I'm already halfway, a little bit over halfway through this book. So... Uh, yeah, I started it Saturday. Yesterday, Sunday, I got on private reading sprints with Jan and Cami, and I made it halfway through yesterday, and I've already read a little bit this morning, so I feel terrible because I haven't been doing, like, obviously too many updates or anything. I honestly feel like I could finish this tonight if I wanted to, but maybe I'll take my time with it just so I can have more content for this uh reading vlog but yeah if you haven't heard of zodiac academy this isn't my type of book i don't read a lot of romance type of books but this is a fantasy romance which really interested me because i mean i love akatar that's one of my favorite series of all time and i will say do not compare akatar to this don't expect akatar in this book this book is like to me it reads a lot like some fan fiction i've read in the past and that's like no tea, no shade. It just, it does. It's very like silly, very funny. Um, it reminds, it's more like urban fantasy too, I feel like. Those are the vibes that I'm getting. It is fantasy, but I get more like urban fantasy out of it. But sorry, basically this book is about these two twins and they live like their normal everyday life they are orphans um and they've been jumping from house to house like in the foster care system and then one day this man comes in and he's like you guys have powers and you guys are now of age so you're gonna come to this uh land which honestly i can't even remember the name it's like astora solaria what the heck am i talking about astora um it's called solaria so they basically go into solaria and there's like a school and there are houses and it's basically like the fire air whatever so a lot of like the book so far has been like all of the other students like bullying them because i don't want to say too much if you're gonna go read this um but they're bullying them for a reason and most of the book is just instances of these other students bullying them i have like started like to see a romance blossom between like one of the, the twins and a character which i'm really really liking actually i think it's it's not cute because this is a bully romance so it's not cute um but it's interesting <laughs> but yeah i'm over halfway through uh so far it's been like a lot of just bullying there hasn't been anything like spicy so far like so yeah i am enjoying it i do feel like so far this would be like a four star because i'm really enjoying it um i say plot wise like there is a plot in there but like it's not very like you know fledged out i guess and then the last thing that i'll mention so far about this book is that i'm having a really really hard time picturing the setting because it's very like fantasy like all of these creatures and stuff and usually like in fantasy books i feel like i go more like back in time like but in this one they have like facebook and like their phones and they get like alerts and all of this so it's hard because usually when i think fantasy you think like back in the old days kind of in those type of fantasy worlds like game of thrones or like even akatar it doesn't really have like technology but this one does have technology so i'm having a little bit of a hard time like 
picturing what this world looks like and I wish um like the world building was like a little better in this but obviously this is a very like chill fun type of book um but yeah I feel like the world building is not the best in this but that's okay I went in this with an open mind this is given major like harry potter but like older <laughs> type of vibes but yeah but like even in harry potter they don't really have like phones and stuff so like that's why i'm like i kind of picture like a hogwarts like setting but then there's like phones and alerts and all this stuff so it's kind of hard so yeah i don't know i don't really i can't really picture it very well but i am enjoying like everything else it's a very quick uh read to like i'm flying through this and this is like almost 500 pages long so yeah. Also, if you haven't watched my We Were Liars <laughs> reading vlog, my nose is still healing. I split my nose open. We don't have to get into too much detail. <laughs> but yeah, now I have to get to work. Um, and then later tonight, Manda from Ginger Snap Reads is doing some readings, friends. So I will be joining those. And I'll try to get in some reading throughout the day, like my lunch break and just whenever I can. I am working from home today, which is good. Um, so I definitely do think I might be able to finish this today, but we shall see. Hi, Evan. Hello. Right. Yeah. Joel is an award-winning beauty journalist who's written for Marie Claire, Glamour. Hi friends, it is currently noon, so I am about to go downstairs and start some lunch. I want to make extra food during lunch today because I have started going into the office and now I have to pack a lunch to go to work when I work from the office. So I want to make extra so I just have something ready for tomorrow so I'm not like scrambling tonight trying to figure out what I'm taking with me. So I'm about to go downstairs and make some lunch. I'm not really sure what I'm making yet, but as you just saw, I was um, watching uh, this show called Glow Up. It's basically like a competition show about like makeup artists. And this is the third season. I've watched it like every time a season comes out, I watch it like straight away. So I just found out that a uh, season three came out, so I'm watching it now. I low key like I watch YouTube videos and like Netflix shows like this one. I tend to watch them while I work from home because I can. Obviously, at the office, I don't do that unless I'm like I have headphones in, but I don't really ever do that anyway at the office. So I'm about to keep watching Glow Up while. I'm making food and then maybe what I'm eating I'll try to read at the same time but we'll see but yeah I totally also forgot to mention that this morning I did go to the gym and I went to the grocery store because my boyfriend and I have been doing like virtual dinners while he's away at work and the only day that works for us is today uh, which is Monday because every single day for the rest of the week I have something going on after work at 5 p.m. like I have a dinner tomorrow on Wednesday I have a live show discussion over over at Sav's channel and then on Thursday I have like a zoom event and on Friday I have another per um, event in person so the only day that works for us is tonight so he's getting a hot dog he already had planned what he's gonna eat for dinner so I want to get like sausage like chicken sausage because I don't really eat hot dogs so I want to get like chicken sausage and buns and all of that to make hot dogs and we try to like plan what we're eating for dinner when we do these virtual dinners because we can't really eat together like the same food but we try to like eat something similar so it feels like we're together uh so yeah i i am having like a hot dog for dinner so i don't really know what i'm having for lunch i feel hungry i just don't really Ooh, not my boyfriend calling me I'll be right back totally forgot to film as i was making it but i made beef potato thing it was a bag i didn't make this um and i just cut up a hot dog bun and then the extra um i put in here and i caught up a hot dog bun and my boyfriend got me a little twix so i put the twix in here but it looked a little empty so i added some strawberries and then i just ended up cutting it up and this is my lunch for tomorrow hello so i am completely done with work now i remember that i have a few things to do and i just wanted to update that i have to fold some laundry i usually do laundry on mondays and i totally forgot that i have this penguin teen uh partnership thing where i have to make a reel and i have to feature this book called the counselors by jessica goodman um i've read uh, one of her books before and i'm actually really excited to read this one it's a murder mystery and it's set in like a camp so yeah i have to film a reel at some point today too 
and I want to film my June TBR. I don't think I'll get to that today though. I think I'm just going to fold my laundry, film this, um, edit this reel, and then probably just read and watch Manda Sprints. And I also have virtual dinner with my boyfriend. So I think that's going to be my day. I'm thinking I'm going to leave filming my June TBR for another day this week because I don't want to do my makeup and I usually do my makeup uh, for work. So... I'll just probably film at some point, like, after work, sometime this week if I'm able to. <laughs> but yeah, that's the update. I haven't read much else because I've been working, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll update you when I actually read because that's all you care about. <laughs> hello, hello. I am currently in bed, and I just finished filming, like, a really simple TikTok for that. Well, not a TikTok. It's a reel for that, uh paid partnership that I talked about earlier for the counselor's book so I'm about to edit it on my laptop I am also currently watching glow up I'm just like relaxing but yeah I put my laundry away and everything I think later I'm actually gonna get on with my friend Renee from reading with Renee because she's also reading Sodic Academy and she thinks that she'll be done with it tonight also so I think we're gonna get together on a stream and read it together you want to say hello to the people <laughs> Hello. I started vlogging today, I, by the way. I forgot to tell you that. <coughs> Sponsor us <laughs> Essentials Water. No. Essentia. Sponsor us. I told them that we were having virtual dinner, but I forgot to actually show it. Because I'm the worst. Oh. I had a big old hot dog. A <laughs> uh, big old hot dog. Mm-hmm. good. And it was amazing. Yes. What am I, do you know what I'm reading right now? Do you remember? Just bought it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like showing it. Do you uh, remember? They never know or something like that. Oh no, I'm not reading that one yet. That's they uh, never maybe. learn. I want to take it with me to LA. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Zodiac Academy, The Awakening. The romance oh, spicy book. <laughs> it's spicy? Not so far. Well, it's like. It's something that's called a bully romance. They bully people into romancing. No, it's like it's like the people that like the guy that's interested in the girl just like bullies her. It's weird. And I oop. But like nothing has happened. They haven't even kissed. Not how many pages? pages? I'm almost done with it. And not one kiss. Mm-hmm. What is a one star? <laughs> that's, that's a one star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nuggy. Say goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> Sponsor us, Essentia. Okay. Um, yeah. It says sadists and masochists are not the same thing. Good morning. It is 6 a.m. I am training my body to wake up at 6 a.m. from now on because I started a new office job. So I just like waking up early and doing my things before I have to go to the office. So it's 6 a.m. I'm about to go on a little hot girl walk. <laughs> um, it's actually kind of chilly. It's like 50, like low 50s, closer to 40s. So yeah, I'm about to go on a little walk and I don't have to go to work until 9 p.m p.m. Oh my god, I don't have to go to work until 9 a.m. So it's 6. I'm probably going to walk for about an hour. Um, so I'll be back here around 7.30, shower, get ready, and go to the office. All right, I'm all done with my hot girl walk, and here is my outfit of the day. This little green skirt, black sandals, this uh, t-shirt from Forever 21, and my Jan Agaton jacket. If you know you know. <laughs> hello, hello. I had a free drink at Dunkin', so here we are. I'm in the drive-thru. I'm the next person in line, so I'm about to pay. I wanted to record while I was ordering, but didn't have the time to pull out the camera, so... I just ordered a almond milk iced latte. It's my go-to order. That's what I always order. And yeah, then after this, I'm heading to work. Hi, good morning. Thank you, have a good one. Hi 
my friends it's golden hour so you know it's the end of the day here so um i actually ended up finishing this last night but i just never mentioned it during my day because i'd never had the chance to like give like a final update of my full thoughts so i just brought you along like in my morning because i didn't even vlog anything else because honestly oh not the text <laughs> Honestly, after my walk this morning and having coffee and stuff, I went to the office and I pretty much worked until 5 p.m. And then right after 5, I met up with my friend Jess and we went to this place called Hola Tacos, which is just Mexican food. I just ate. It was great. We talked for a while. Um, she loves books. She's currently reading um, the Akatar series. So I got her into that and she's loving it. Um, so yeah, I just got home and packed my lunch for tomorrow. And this is the only time that I've had to talk about my feelings about this. So it is currently like probably about to be 8 p.m. So yeah, I finished this yesterday. Um, I honestly flew through this so i feel like i definitely enjoyed it but it's definitely like a very silly very funny it reads a lot like fan fiction and usually i feel like that's not what i go into like looking in my books um i do see why so many people enjoyed this book but honestly this also feels like a very um this feels like the foundation for a series. I feel like some things did happen in this book, um, but I feel like it was it was dragged out a little bit. Um, I feel like a lot more could have happened in how, like, you know, this book is pretty long. So I feel like a lot more could have happened. Um, I was, like, really interested in one of the romances of the twins, and the other one I couldn't care less. Um, which was Darcy. I was more interested in Darcy and her character. Um, Tori, I feel like if you know me, you know that I would probably relate to Darcy a lot more than I would relate to Tori. So I just like Darcy's overall POV character, like her mind and the romance and all of that. I just liked her more. Um, Tori, not as much. <laughs> but it was okay. And again, like I said, I had a really hard time, uh, picturing this world because there's technology but it's very like hogwarts but obviously like in harry potter you don't really have phones and all of that so it felt like urban fantasy but i know that it's not so it was hard to pinpoint like the setting and to be able to picture it so i feel like in that way i also couldn't really connect and then i also remember that my a friend on bookstagram her name's caitlin from pride and paperback gifted me this book so i obviously will be keeping this book but yeah it was okay um i think overall i ended up giving it a four stars on goodreads but it is more of like a 3.5 read it was very enjoyable i think the only reason why it was like a 3.5 is because of the reading experience but the plot and the characters weren't really that great. I will say that I really loved their friends Diego and Sofia. I really liked those scenes when they go out. Really liked those. It reminded me of like Hogsmeade in Harry Potter. I'm sorry I keep comparing this to Harry Potter, but it's just what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah. But yeah, that was it. I'm sorry that this was such a short reading vlog. I really didn't think that I would fly through this. I thought this would take me so much longer. Um, the real question is, will I be continuing this series? And... To be completely honest, I'm not too sure. I feel like maybe I might pick it up just to see. I feel like I'm going to ask my friends a little bit, like, what does the second book, like, it's more focused on? And depending on what they say, I might pick up the next one. But I'm not sure. <laughs> but that was it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.